Hello Canvas users, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to be looking at some more question types in Quizzes Next. So I'm here in the Build menu in Quizzes Next, and down here at the bottom, past some of the other questions I've already shown you how to build, we're going to click the blue Add Content, and we're gonna look at the matching question. This is pretty straightforward. You wanna, of course, give your question a title, just like you do for any of the questions. And then here in your question stem, you can give some instructions, match the person with the appropriate building or something to that effect. And so maybe we have president and we are matching him with the White House. Maybe I should say him or her with the White House. And then we have representatives and we're matching them with the Capitol building. And then we have Supreme Court Justices, and they go along with the Supreme Court of the United States, etc. So you get the idea. You put a list at the left that goes with a list at the right, and you can add as many additional question and answer pairs as you like. You can also add distractors if that further assists you in determining whether students have mastered the content. And then down here at the bottom, you're given some options, including shuffling the questions and showing an on-screen calculator. And then you would want to add your item to the appropriate item bank. If you leave an extra set of question and answer pairs available, it will give you this error message. So you only wanna have the ones that you need. And then when you're finished and you've added your question to the appropriate item bank, you can of course go on and add additional questions. So next we'll look at multiple choice. Again, pretty straightforward, similar to things that you've seen in other quiz building platforms. You'd give this question a title, just like we do on previous ones. You would add in the question stem, and then you can give as many possible answers as you want. Make sure to select the correct answer by clicking in the radial next to the correct answer. The cool thing on multiple choice questions in Quizzes Next is in the options here, you have the option to vary points by answer. So maybe if they select one of the answers, they get two points. If they select another one, they only get one point, etc. So when I select here, I'm able to give a certain number of points based on the answer they select. And then of course, like you see in many quizzing platforms, you're able to shuffle your choices. So next, let's look at an ordering question. The ordering questions here in Quizzes Next are similar to the tech enhanced items that we're now seeing on our state assessments. Again, you would start by giving a title, you would add the question stem. This question allows you to drag and drop answers into the appropriate order. And you can put a label for your top and bottom on this. So maybe this is first event and at the bottom we have last event and you have some events from history that your students are going to drag and drop into order. And again, you can have as many events or as few events as you like in your list. And down here at the bottom, you have options for displaying your answers in a paragraph and whether or not you want to include those labels. So if it doesn't make sense to have something like first event and last event, you can just remove that from your question and just have the answers. Maybe it's apparent what they would be doing without having those labels. Down here at the bottom of a question, you can adjust the points possible before moving on to your next question. As always, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks and have a great day.